So first of all, uh, we are here today because we want to know um, why uh, wines are becoming turbid. So what are the reasons for wines to uh, turn into a hazy wine like the one in the picture here? So in the case of protein instability, uh, this uh, occurrence uh, is due to the fact that wines contain uh, what are called heat unstable proteins. They're heat unstable, so as the name suggests, they are not stable uh, uh, if submitted to, to elevated temperatures. And this causes the protein to denature as a first step, and then to aggregate, so to grow into uh, light scattering particles that then we can see as a turbidity. So this is one of the reasons. So the culprits are the proteins. There is no protein stability without proteins, of course. But uh, if the proteins are there, uh, we could also have wines that don't turn into hazy. Uh, however, if the wines are stored, for example, in uh, too uh, high temperatures, so in appropriate storage conditions, uh, for example, during tra transportation or during storage, uh, this uh, process can, can start. It can also happen that the wine have been stabilized by the winemaker, but they haven't been stabilized correctly. For example, they use the wrong amount of a stabilizer, which in this case is bentonite that we will discover later. Um, or it can also be that the wine has been stabilized, but then the composition of the wine that went into the bottle changed after stabilization had been done, for example, by blending two different wines, by adding uh, some sugar to increase the residual sugar and so on. And so this would cause uh, modification of the wine composition that could lead to the destabilization of these processes, so to the beginning of the uh, uh, haze formation. So we said that the, the culprit, the reason for this to happen is proteins in wine, uh, but not all proteins. Uh, wine contain proteins that come, of course, from the grapes, uh, most of them, even though some come from yeast, but those are stable. This is a, an analysis that shows the electrophoresis that shows the main classes of proteins that you can find in wine. So we have invertase and LTP or lipid transfer proteins. Uh, and then you also have glucanase, chitinases, and TLPs. You can see that the bands here are a bit thicker, so they are those most represented. And these most represented, so those, those that we find more in the wine, they are also those that are heat unstable. Uh, so these are um, this is the enemy in a way of winemakers of uh, to prevent protein instability. So let's have a look a bit better in what these proteins are. So they are called grape pathogenesis related proteins. So they are proteins that are related to the pathogenesis. That means that the plants, uh, not only grape vines, but plants in general, they produce this class of proteins uh, to defend itself from pathogens. In wine, typically, depending on, on the source and on the wine, of course, uh, you find 50 to 100 milligrams per liter of proteins, but there are reports that can go up to 400 milligrams, 500 milligrams of these proteins in wine, so very high amount, uh, relatively high. We're talking about milligrams per liter, but they, this is enough to cause uh, a big haze formation in wines. The two main classes, so the one that we find most in higher concentration, are the thomatin like proteins or, or TLPs and the chitinases. And this, as we said, they are the reason uh, for wines to turn into turbid uh, due to protein um, destabilization. The characteristics of these pure proteins that we know, that we are aware of, is that, as I said, they are antifungal. They are very resistant to proteolysis, so it's difficult to, uh, to degrade them with a protease, so like you would do with other proteins. They're also very stable at low pH, uh, such as the pH of wine. But unfortunately for, for us, they tend to become insoluble during the storage of the wine. Um, so when you make wine, especially during fermentation and, and aging, basically uh, most of the wine, wine proteins, the grape proteins, they are uh, lost, uh, except for the PR proteins, which are those that actually cause instability. So they become a problem that uh, intensifies with during winemaking. So 